Where did our current system of splitting kids up by age, dividing knowledge up into subjects, having teachers stand at the front of the room and give lectures, testing knowledge with exams, and summer holidays come from? Why does education still look pretty much like it did hundreds of years ago, when everything else in our modern world has changed? A quote by Kevin Curry Knight, professor of education at East Carolina University in the U.S., inspired us to revolutionize our program at Hotel School de Hay. Instead of constantly chasing students to hand in their assignments, we thought it would be better to slightly stimulate them with a concept, and then just peek in once in a while to see if they were on the right track. This presentation will introduce one of our innovative student-led projects. I will take you through the reasoning behind its creation, its implementation, and the responses we have received so far. At Hotel School de Hague, our promise is to offer educational programs with a unique combination of theory, practice, and research in order to provide sought-after hospitality graduates. This combined with three types of skills, IQ, EQ, and AQ. IQ being foundational knowledge with an in-depth understanding of hospitality and critical thinking skills. EQ being highly developed personal and intercultural skills. Lastly, AQ is a manner in which a person is able to respond to life's unexpected turns. For the coming years, our community will be focused on four of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which are number three, good health and well-being, number four, quality education, number 11, sustainable cities and communities, and 12, responsible consumption and production. <clears throat> Keeping in mind Mr. Curry Knight's quote, our promise and our goals for the coming years, we decided to create a project within our course managing an outlet, MO, to encompass all of these aspects. In the previous MO course, 2017 and earlier, students learned how to manage resources, processes, and people in their role as department manager of Hotel School The Hague. Students are personal, personally accountable for the daily operations of the food and beverage and rooms division outlets. In this course, they also develop cross-cultural management and leadership skills. The course aims to teach students how to lead and how to optimize their team's performance. The course assignment required students to provide managerial advice, which would be implemented sometime in the near future. What we found is that the managerial advice given by the students during this course, although very often focused on relevant and current trends, such as community building, health and nutrition, transparency, sustainability, authenticity, etc., was not implemented in the operational outlets. Unfortunately, the creative, inspiring, and potentially implementable ideas were left on paper. Why? Mostly because our internal processes created too many hurdles for the students to conquer in order to get their projects implemented. Therefore, most projects remained on the shelf, gathering dust. After many intensive feedback sessions, focus groups with both students and colleagues, and detailed student course evaluations, we found that the most rewarding assignments for students were the real-life assignments. The majority of students expressed directly to us that they would be more motivated if their projects and plans really came to life in the outlets, with the school community experiencing firsthand the impact of their research and ideas. This is when we decided to create PATE, the acronym standing for Practical and Theoretical Education, the aim being to give students the opportunity to be in the driver's seat. Specifically, students will plan, do, check, and act their way into a positive disruption with the hope that it will have a meaningful and significant impact on the entire HDH community and possibly society as a whole. With positive disruption, I mean an idea that challenges the status quo and uncovers new possibilities. These disruptions are based on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, as previously mentioned. Before initiating PATE, we discussed our idea and concept with a number of industry partners, specifically those whose business, school, concept, or product would be visited, featured, or introduced during a project. We discussed with them the assignment that the students would carry out, the potential impact on their operation, usually low, and of course our objective to cause a positive disruption with a significant, hopefully high, impact on the entire Hotel School of Hay community. Mr. Curry Knight's quote about the need to modernize education was the main inspiration be behind Pate's creation. Letting the student take the lead entails that they have to be highly and intrinsically motivated. We discovered quickly that when the projects are close to the heart or close to their heart, students will go to the extra distance to make the ordinary extraordinary. Students are required to spend 10 hours per person on this assignment. However, what we noticed is that they were going far, far beyond this requirement, all in goodwill, all voluntary, and feeling that it adds a great value to their education. This new way of educating also requires a shift in the mindset of the coaching faculty, since every project is different. 
It is necessary to be in close contact with students and to check in on them without really directing them. Allowing the students to be at all times in the driver's seat, making the decisions, the context, and the arrangements that will make the final positive impact. The uniqueness of the project also implies that assessors cannot just tick boxes on grading forms. Our grading form is very simple, yet challenging. The grading form ranges from below expectations to wow. Wow has a description, exceeds expectations significantly, clearly adds value, made a meaningful and significant impact. Our philosophy on grading is that the final grade is important for the students, but the real, real reward is in the results of their pate projects. Did they manage to make their dreams come to life? Have we, as coaches, allowed them the freedom to explore while still providing them with timely, relevant feedback, tips, tricks, tools, connections, and resources? For us, the learning process and curve is significantly more important than the final grade. In order to guide our students in the right direction, without unnecessary steering, we created a simple framework, the most important tool being the UN Sustainable Development Goals, serving as a blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all of us. Additionally, we also believe that the absence of a budget is a tool. This may sound paradoxical, but the absence of a budget stimulates the students to innovate and to use different tools. Pat Day was implemented in the academic year of 2017-18 and without additional costs to the course budget. The Hotel School The Hague does not budget for sponsorship of ingredients, transport, equipment, or supplies for the majority of courses outside practical education. Surprisingly, we discovered that the absence of a budget motivated our students even more by stimulating them to create an out-of-the-box mindset. Students became very creative in obtaining needed funds through crowdsourcing and integrating project costs within ongoing Hotel School The Hague projects. We foresee a bright future for Pate because it is an initiative that could easily be applied to other hospitality schools and universities. Other than the zero cost of implementation, there are so many projects and processes within the daily operations that can be picked up and embedded within Pate assignments. A few examples are possibly organizing a dinner assisted by students with young and old persons afflicted with Down syndrome, preparing and serving a meal to their families, in the environment of learning and interacting with our students, basically celebrating life. Making shower soap out of coffee grounds and orange peels left over from the school uh, processes in order to fully utilize every resource that we have. Focusing on the head to tail, root to stock concept very often found in the culinary world. Visiting a homeless shelter with fresh and local ingredients and having students prepare a four course meal, contributing to the community and those who are less fortunate than our internal community. Since the introduction of Pate, our in industry network has grown immensely. We are now in closer contact with our surrounding community, as well as making valuable connections with sustainable organizations. During the last semester, students contacted several charity organizations, food movements, and sustainable startups. These industry contacts were all extremely impressed by the professionalism shown by our students. A few examples are Grow, a sustainable startup which grows mushrooms based on coffee grounds, Slow Food Youth, an international youth movement, part of the international slow food movement, focusing on creating a sustainable food system. Hoyerai, a farm in the city of Utrecht, focusing on the sustainable development of the meat industry. Even though Pate has only been running for one year, it is already a huge success among students and other stakeholders. We therefore decided to train more faculty to coach the Rooms Division students. <clears throat> Starting September 2018, Pate will also be introduced within the Rooms Division department. We really believe the leaders of our Pate projects are the students. I will now give the floor to three students who will describe their personal pate experience. In order to create greater awareness for the nose to till concept and the importance of maximizing usage out of an entirety of a cow, we purchased a full cow with the help of school. We visited Geit, learned about the farm and the cow, and returned to the slaughterhouse a week later. We then learned about the full slaughtering process, which we brought back to Hotel School The Hague and spread the world whilst selling hamburgers at the school's bar. Working in the kitchen as a manager for 10 weeks, we were constantly dealing with food without realizing or considering where it came from. After having seen Geit alive and in the form of a burger, we were much more considerate towards food waste and the importance of respecting all food. We could then spread the word around school and help minimize waste in different departments and try to have people enjoy and respect their food, especially their meat, more. 
Prior to visiting the slaughterhouse, I thought that I would turn vegetarian as soon as I saw the process. This, however, was not the case as I have actually learned to truly enjoy the meat that I do eat. I have become a lot more passionate towards meat and although I don't eat a lot of it, the meat that I do consume I is enjoyed much more. Another eye-opener for me was the manner in which the butchers treated the cows with so much respect and care. I think pate is great as it enables students to give something back to either hotel school or the external community whilst and taking the learning outside the classroom. My team and I had a lot of fun with our pate as we learned so much not only about the nose to till process or the slaughtering but also about organizing an event and all the logistics that came along with that. The initiative of the sign language coffee bar was built on one of the 17 UN sustainable goals. It was part of the pate assignment to focus our event on one of those goals and we chose this one that was all about creating sustainable societies. We chose this particular goal because we saw already a lot of attention going to environmental sustainability, so we wanted to focus more on the human capital of today's society, particularly uh, involving people with some kind of impairment into the modern day working society. Then when in one of our lectures, one of our instructors pointed us towards the sign language coffee bar initiative, we got really excited and definitely wanted to work with it. The outcome of our project was just so amazing. We got the deaf baristas to come to our school and make coffees that were ordered in sign language by everybody who visited. We had teachers as well as students and outsiders participate, which made it such a rewarding experience. One major eye-opener was that one of the students we were working with that day actually told me she had someone in her close family that had lost their audio ability recently and that this would be one of the first times she would have to cope with it in real life. When she told me this, it made me very nervous at first, but seeing her work so well with the baristas, um, she got an amazing experience out of it and so did we. Pate for me was a great opportunity to take what we had learned so far into practice. We received a tremendous amount of freedom and trust from the school. And I think that together with the proper guidance from our instructors creates really wonderful and inspirational events. I know nobody else in my surrounding who have the opportunity to create something like this with their school. So I am very thankful and proud of what we were able to achieve. This is the end of our presentation, but it is just the start of our endeavor towards innovative education for students and by students. Our main responsibility is to develop our students into sought after graduates by motivating them to shape the global hospitality industry. We encourage them to discover their heart and we offer them their passport to the future.